Okay, so we have a fresh slate when it comes to our filter presets. Now, um, because we're going to focus on lead management initially here, um, we're going to go ahead and start building out a filter preset for, for the lead management aspect of things. Um, so in your business, just so that we, we build this out in, in a nice, clean way, um, what do you what do you guys base off of? Do you base off of warm, hot, or cold leads? Like, how do you prioritize? And I can just look in your Podio, actually, go, to your, go into Seller Leads page, and I can see how you have your filter um your views in here uh and we can base it off that but it looks like we have a hot board right we have standard follow-ups you guys have a relatively simple discovery not ready follow-up hot uh, wrong numbers no value old podio hot okay so let's do this we're going to create a hot uh follow-up I'm gonna create that one and now for you guys what do you guys consider your follow-up flow for hot like what do you guys think like if, if it's a hot lead what's how, how often are you following up uh I mean that's subjective to the the lead situation um, okay I'd say I'd, I'd say probably pretty daily if, it, if it's a hot lead Okay, so then let's do let's do this. Uh, we'll just do a basic call text. Um, it's hot lead follow up. Call text hot lead follow up. Uh, and then we're gonna do that. And then we're going to do it where this is due the first day. And then who is your lead manager? So currently, I don't have one. We okay. had one, and now I don't have one. So I'm going to put these all as for you right now, and then we'll go from there. Um, and then we're going to create that task. Okay, so that's going to be attempt one. We're literally going to duplicate this, and it's going to be attempt two. And then this is going to be the second day, two days. And we're going to follow up every day um, for the first three days. Okay, so now we have hot lead follow up first three days um, and then we're going to break that down and we're going to switch it to a so this this is based off of the date that the very first task is created or that the lead is created um, so we did one day two day three day and then we're going to switch it over to be uh, weeks at this point so uh, actually let's do days out until 14 days so we'll do we'll do another like five days. We'll skip a day. So you're going to be pretty aggressive in your first week, and then we'll do another one at seven days. So a total of five follow-ups in seven days. Okay, so that's the first seven days, and then we can break it down into like a two week. And after, um, essentially, after, honestly, even if they don't answer at this point, they're probably not a hot lead anymore. They should probably be downgraded to a warm lead. Um, however, we're going to go ahead and just continue this uh, and say that we're going to go out to at least seven attempts. We're going to do two weeks out. Okay, and then we're going to do let's actually do after two weeks, we'll do another one at like 16 days. Of course, this can be adjusted. However, 
sees fit. We're going to do seven follow-ups for hot leads. And then at that point, they should really be converted over to a warm lead. So let's go ahead and create that. Um, warm lead follow-up. And so the difference between like typically a hot lead and a warm lead is a hot lead, obviously they want to sell right at this very moment. Warm leads, they probably want to sell within 30 days. So you might not follow up with a warm lead, uh, but but once after the conversation to see see how they're doing. And then it's not going to be for like seven days, right? Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create an immediate warm lead follow-up. I'm just going to switch this to warm. Follow-up attempt one. And then this is going to be the first day. Day one. And then we're going to jump it after that to five days and then seven days and then 30 days, right? So it's not going to be um, super aggressive. And if they don't convert after that period of time frame that you define what a hot lead or a warm lead is, it automatically defaults down the cold, right? Um, and so with sequences, what we can do is we can say, hey, once this hot lead follow-up attempt seven is completed and the status of it is not under contract, then automatically add the warm lead attempt one, you know, or not warm lead really attempt one because you would, that would make you a task to the next day. You'd want to start off in, in like 30 days from now, which you could just add under here if you really wanted to and do a whole hot lead follow up. But really, after a certain amount of attempts, it should be changed. Okay, so add a new preset. We're going to do two. And this is going to be out five days. Some people do like a really aggressive first three days. And of course, these can be changed and edited, however. Okay. Follow up three, seven days. Or we could just do one week. Either one. Okay. It's going up one week and you're going to go all the way out until the time frame, typically 30 to 45 days with your warm leads. We're going to continue to do this. So that's three. We're doing four now. User Jeremy. We're going to do. Twelve days. And in the first like two weeks, it's typically like increments of like 72, 72 hours or so. Okay. So now we're going out 16 days and let's just go ahead now and do a seven. We're going to go out three weeks or 16, two, 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 19 days, two weeks, three weeks. Oh, that should be six. Okay, and then 19 days, we're gonna add another one, and this is gonna be seven. About wow, three weeks. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna stick with that for, for now. We'll go about three weeks for warm, uh, two weeks for hot, and really you can continue going out the 45 days with warm, but we'll go back to that. Uh, now, cold lead follow up. Cold. Tyler, is there a quick way to duplicate all of those for, say, when I do want to change it from my name to a lead manager? Like just a no, mess. You, no, it, it, when you switch it to your name, you're going to have to go in each one of them and switch it because you're not duplicating. Even if you were to duplicate them, it would just be, you would be duplicating what's already existing, not duplicating and changing a person, right? So, oh, so I just need to edit the person then. You just got to edit the person. Yeah. Um, okay. That's, that's easy. Um, okay. So cold lead follow-up is going to be, so cold leads, typically they don't want to sell um, for, for um, 
for a period of time in uh, 90 days or longer is what most people do. Um, so in the warm lead, we said, okay, we're going to follow up because they want to sell uh, within the next 30 to 90 days. So we started like aggressively in the first three weeks, uh, but we spaced it out a lot more than a warm lead. Some individuals on their warm leads, like they're going to start, if they want to sell in the next 30 to 90 days, right? They're going to start, um, they're going to start calling this person typically in like 30 days, not the next day, right? But this one really, sh this, this, this text or this call, what you can do in the description here is you can define what this is supposed to be like. Um, like this can simply be, this isn't like a, do you want to sell your, your, your house kind of conversation because they're a warm lead. They already told you between 30 and 90 days. Uh, so this is more of a, um, just a reminder that I'm, uh, that I'm here. Right. Right. So it's nothing, nothing super crazy there. You're not trying to sell or, or you're not trying to buy anything at that point, right? You're trying to build a relationship. Um, and five days later, uh, seven days later, you might want to be a little less aggressive. You might not want to be, you might want to delete this one and wait till 12 days. And you might want to wait till 19 days or 12 days and then three weeks and then jump out to like, you know, 21 days or, or that's already three weeks, but you know, you can space it out however you want. The ideal here is just making sure that you have an idea that, Hey, you, you need to like a warm lead sequence. You need a, a hot lead sequence. And then we're going to do a cold lead one now. And the cold leads are going to start off, um, typically at like 45 days follow-up. So that's what we're going to do here. Five days. Okay. And then after 45 days, we'll probably go out. I have a whole video on this too. I'm trying to think um, what, what I do in the video, but uh, 45 and then probably like a week, a week later. So 45 and then what would that be? Whatever week. 45. No, let's just say, say like 55 days. And you can adjust these times if you want. Cold leads are always going to be our longest nurture. Prince of 10 days. I'm just going to push it to 90. Um, okay. All right. So now um, to, to kind of do an overview again of, of warm, hot, or cold uh, folders here, we've created a hot, warm, and cold. Uh, typically, uh, a hot lead is anyone who wants to sell within the next 30 days. Warm lead is 30 to 90 days. And cold leads are anybody who wants to sell, you know, after 90 days. Um, with cold leads or any of your first initial follow-up, you never want to follow up on the day that they say they're looking to sell at, probably in the next 90 days um, or after 90 days or maybe in six months from now. You always want to start earlier and keep that, that relationship going because otherwise somebody else is going to get in there. That does not mean that if it's a cold lead and they want to sell in 70 days that you, know, you call on 15 days and you, all, you ask to buy their house. That is not what you do. Um, that is why using the message board on your records and making sure that before you make that phone call, you look at the message board and you see what the what the notes are from the conversations is so important. You do not treat every single lead like, oh, it's just another follow-up. They want to sell their house. That is not how you do lead follow-up, right? These are here to hold the structure. Um, and I say this often that 
Uh, a lot of people default to doing like uh, text automation drip type follow up stuff. Um, and what you're doing is you're saying that everybody is the same. They're going to they want to hear the same message. And that's just not true at all. Um, and what we're really doing is we're saying, hey, I want this system um, to take uh, and do the job of a lead manager because I don't want to I don't want my lead manager to have to you know earn their money. Right. Because uh, you get a lead manager and they start doing like simple follow up for you. They follow up with the easiest ones while the system's following up with the with the ones that really need the real relationships nurtured because the, the easy ones would follow would, would be OK with the trip. But they are one in a million comparatively to the ones that need long term follow up. And so you're basically saying, hey, yeah, I'll pay you lead manager, do your job to only do it like 60 percent of the way, though. Um, like you need to make sure that you're ingraining the right kind of processes and skills to a lead manager, doing the notes, reviewing the notes and making sure the conversations are there. This is just to remind them to do that. Right. Tasks are the only thing that a CRM actually needs to be successful. You need a good task system, not good drip you know, campaigns. Drips are good for a specific intent. But the problem is that 95 percent, if not more, real estate wholesaling companies uh, in direct to consumer type marketing drip campaigns aren't it. Drip campaigns are great for product marketing. They're great um, for reminding people about, you know, uh, events that are going on. They're not great at building relationships with people. They'll only convert the you know, they'll only keep you top of mind for the people who are, are not wanting to sell in a very long time. Uh, and for whatever reason, people just. They, they just give up on those individuals say, oh, your campaigns can do it for me. And that's not the right way uh, to build a long, long, long term business. You want your branding to be known. Um, drip campaigns are great. But again, uh, you want your team to only get drip campaigns when they've earned drip campaigns.